Hey there, and thanks for joining us for today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional. Our reading, titled Lonely But Not Forgotten, was written by Lisa M. Samra. When you listen to their stories, it becomes clear that perhaps the most difficult part of being a prisoner is isolation and loneliness. In fact, one study revealed that regardless of the length of their incarceration, Most prisoners receive only two visits from friends or loved ones during their time behind bars. Loneliness is a constant reality. It's a pain I imagine Joseph in the book of Genesis felt as he sat in prison, unjustly accused of a crime. There had been a glimmer of hope. God helped Joseph correctly interpret a dream from a fellow inmate who happened to be a trusted servant of Pharaoh. Joseph told the man that he would be restored to his position and asked the man to mention him to Pharaoh so Joseph could gain his freedom. But the man did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. For two more years, Joseph waited. In those years of waiting, without any sign that his circumstances would change, Joseph was never completely alone because God was with him. Eventually, The servant of Pharaoh remembered his promise and Joseph was released after correctly interpreting another dream. Regardless of the circumstances that make us feel we've been forgotten and the feelings of loneliness that creep in, we can cling to God's reassuring promise to his children in Isaiah 49, 15. I will not forget you. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Genesis chapter 40, verses 8 through 15 and 20 through 23. We both had dreams, they answered, but there is no one to interpret them. Then Joseph said to them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me your dreams. So the chief cupbearer told Joseph his dream. He said to him, In my dream, I saw a vine in front of me, and on the vine were three branches. As soon as it budded, it blossomed, and its clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes, squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup, and put the cup in his hand. This is what it means, Joseph said to him. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your position, and you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand, just as you used to do when you were his cupbearer. But when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. I was forcibly carried off from the land of the Hebrews, and even here I have done nothing to deserve being put in a dungeon. Now picking up at verse 20. Now the third day was Pharaoh's birthday, and he gave a feast for all of his officials. He lifted up the heads of the chief cupbearer and the chief baker in the presence of his officials. He restored the chief cupbearer to his position so that he once again put the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he impaled the chief baker, just as Joseph had said to them in his interpretation. The chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, help us to reach out to you when we feel forgotten and remember that you're always faithful. You are always with us. Thank you, Lord, for never forgetting us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening today. My name is Brenna Holsklaw, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.